Welcome to practice prep number two, building a strong foundation, the pendulum motion. This prep will continue with the basics of body awareness and we'll learn how to use the baton as a natural extension of the arm. In another video, we'll discuss in greater detail how to hold the baton. But for the purpose of this exercise, hold the baton in a way that feels comfortable to you. This next exercise is to get the forearm, forearm fall the grandfather clock where this is the little globule at the end of a grandfather clock and this is the impetus of the beat. So you're, you're wanting to go just like this, just letting your forearm fall and let your body just go where that goes. Where this goes, your body goes. So you just let it up, let it fall. And the idea is that it shouldn't ever stop. In other words, you should never go like this, stop, it, just let it go. It's very tricky to do. But you do this for a few minutes a day, your body will start to understand what it is to move with a baton or without a baton. And then you gradually, as you get better at this, just move your forearm out into space and then eventually you just use it to do the pattern the four pattern or the three pattern or whatever the pattern is let's take a closer look and analyze these movements your forearm is falling like a pendulum of a clock that's the way that you compel an orchestra to play on your beat so how do we practice this? Center yourself with your feet as described in the previous video. Put your arms up. This is just a simple example of how to do this. Put your forearm up and just let your forearm, forearm fall like this. And don't be afraid to once in a while let it fall and see the impetus that it makes you fall forward. Of course you can't do that but that's the impetus. The impetus is that it's like a pendulum that falls to the beat, to the center of the beat. Boom. Now let's try the forearm falling motion with David. Now let's try it once more. This time, making sure you exhale on the fall while keeping your shoulders relaxed. Here's a great opportunity to practice in front of a mirror or even record yourself doing this exercise. Remember, awareness is key. Now let's put it together with the pendulum motion. Go ahead and grab your baton and try it with David. Eventually, as you get more advanced, you will personalize this. This will, you will use it in your own way for the music, etc., etc. But you need a default. Conducting is not a natural phenomenon. It's not a natural thing to do. Much of what you think you should do and think that you are doing, you're not doing. And you can look at yourself in video and all that, and it's great, and you'll learn stuff. But what it really is, is this feeling. And my right hand on this baton is completely relaxed. And I'm the least relaxed person in the world. But... I spent years and years practicing on and off this stuff. And eventually it teaches your body how to move. And then your brain with the music makes your body move in a good way rather than in a way that's antithetical to what you're trying to do. To review, start with the default position and let the forearm fall in a constant pendulum-like motion. Make sure to lead with the tip of the baton. 
We want this to be natural movement, and it's going to take practice. So try this exercise for at least five minutes each day. It'll help build and control your spatial awareness. For more practice preps and to learn how to apply, visit www.lafci.org.